Well, welcome to another, uh, another episode of Rim Shots with Sean, brought to you by Barstools and Band Talk. I'm here with a gentleman that needs no introduction, but we're going to cover something a little different. I am here with the one, the only, Mr. Tracy Guns. How are you doing, sir? Great, man. Thanks. So, Sunbomb album came out two days ago, correct? I don't know. <laughs> I've been <laughs> so busy doing stuff. I I, I, I I guess. I think so. Um, now, I'm the first one of a few, and I was going to ask you, you know, had you been asked the same question repeatedly about this project, but I'm, I'm going to ask it anyway. Um, I guess in everything that you've had to talk about this project, is there anything that you haven't been asked that you want people to know or that, that hasn't been covered? Um, not really, because I, I think, you know, kind of the whole point of, of the Sunbomb um, thing is, is this kind of like nostalgic kind of, uh, you know, Scandinavian British metal kind of mix um right. and uh you know it's michael and i really kind of doing stuff that we loved when we were you know just out of high school and and uh you know we don't really do this stuff with our respective bands you know per se so you're a busy guy i mean i, I see all the stuff that you have on the go do you keep your own schedule do you have somebody help you with that <laughs> Yeah, both. <laughs> you know, both. okay. You know, I, I have a, a publicist and a manager, and a a, a, a very efficient, practical girlfriend, and then <laughs> uh, and then you know, I just I try, I try my best. You know what I mean? But uh, you know, I got a couple kids, and uh, I'm always recording. You know, whether it's for my own projects or for somebody else's project, so it gets a little sketchy. I got a weird schedule. Oh. The reason why I ask is because, I mean, you've done a few of these, uh, I don't know if side projects is the correct answer or, or, sure. or response, but you've done a few of them. And is there a criteria, you know, given the fact that you're busy, given the fact that LA Guns is a, a lot playing, um, yeah. do you have a criteria? Is it, you know, genre that you haven't done before, somebody that you want to work with, a little of both? Like, how, how do you, how do you, I guess, wade through all these and decide what's going to work for you? Um, You know, I mean, number one, I'm a professional musician, right? So that yep. means, you know, I don't leave any pennies on the table. So <laughs> if, 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 if sessions come across uh, that I don't particularly believe in or, you know, really not my thing, I just always make the request, hey, you know, you don't need to list me as a, as a studio musician. You know what I mean? Um, but the stuff that I love, you know, that stuff always takes priority. Um you know, I mean, sometimes there's a guy who needs a solo really quick, but I'm right in the middle of, you know, a month's working on an L.A. Guns album or something like that. And they're freaking the fuck out. I need this. I got to have this. And it's like, that's the only time I turn money down. You know, that's that's, you know, it breaks my heart a little bit. You know? But, you know, but I, I, I can't lose focus on on the main projects like Sunbomb, uh, Blackbird Angels and L.A. Guns. Those are really really have priority those are the things that i you know i'm creating in those you know situations so i can't be distracted so when i'm in the middle of one of my projects i i really can't be distracted by doing like let's say you know every now and then i do a hip-hop session you know what i mean and it's like it's really distracting from when i'm writing garage rock for la guns you know what i mean it's sure. it, 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 it can be a distraction no i get that and um you know, so Blabbermouth ran a piece a couple of days ago, but, you know, they're calling it the sophomore album, Light Up This Guy being the sophomore album. And, you know, mm -hmm. um, is there going to be an opportunity? And I think I know the answer, but I'll ask it anyway. Is there going to be an opportunity for you guys to do any sort of live uh, performances with this? Or is it just, um, I don't want to say passion project. That's kind of a cliche word. But, uh, yeah. you know, what what is the, I guess, the uh, the agenda beyond, you know, what, what happened two days ago with the album coming out? Right. I, I mean, you know, that's, <clears throat> of course, you know, we'd love to put the energy in and, you know, kind of complete the band. And, uh, but number one, Adam Hamilton, um, our drummer, he's also plays, he's a studio drummer for LA Guns too. Um, we work on everything together. Everything I do creatively um, on the original side of things is done with Adam. You know, he's really an inspiration for me when I'm writing. So but his thing is he can't tour. You know, he went out with L.A. Guns and played rhythm guitar uh, in 2018. 
uh, for a couple of weeks. And that, that was it. You know, he's, he can't do it. He's got, he's got big commitments at home and stuff. So when it comes to something like, like Sunbomb, we would have to kind of put everything else away for a while, you know, complete a live band, you know, do some serious rehearsal, book a tour. And the reality of that happening is, is pretty bleak. You know, I mean, of course we'd love to do that, but it's not just like, hey, let's get together in the middle of the country somewhere with these guys and rehearse and go. It's just not like that, you know, right. unfortunately. Um, so if, you know, if you guys were able to put the rehearsal time in, um, and I'm going to ask you what I call the blabbermouth question here. Would you think it would, so when you guys go in and record this, it's, I, I'm, I'm assuming it's get everything sounding absolutely the best that it has to. So if I've got to put 10 guitars on something, there's going to be 10 guitars on something. Would it be a situation where you'd have to consider, you know, the backing track argument that seems to be the flavor of the day, or would you guys just be able to go out there and, you know, as they say, raw dog it and just pedal to the metal? Oh yeah, man. I, yeah. Raw dog all the time. Every aspect of life is a raw dog for me. You know, <laughs> nice. it, it's, it, yeah. You know, that's the beauty of that kind of music uh, for me um, is, you know, kind of having the Jimmy Page approach in the studio where, you know, you you make everything so big that it, it almost comes across as loose in a way, kind of the right. wob wobbly live kind of band vibe. And then, you know, live, you know, the way that I have my guitar set up live is very big and, and very stereo and, and all that stuff. So I, I could absolutely pull off what needs to happen in a live situation for like a sun bomb thing, which, which obviously has layers and layers of uh, guitars, but you know, that would be one of the funnest parts about doing it live. It's like, okay, how am I going to do this? <laughs> you know, that would be great. Um, I heard the, uh, the and we're going to wrap up here cause I know you're busy Tracy, but I, I heard the first track and you know, when I heard, okay, Tracy Guns, Michael Sweet. I was expecting, okay, I, I grew up loving Striper. I grew up loving L.A. Guns. Michael's right. got a distinctive yeah. voice. And I thought, okay, it's going to sound like this. And then I heard it, and it was like, I'm hearing Priest. I'm hearing Dio. I'm hearing all kinds of different things. Yeah, yeah. And then I see the Blabbermouth piece. And lo and behold, that's what you guys are going for. Yeah. Um, it must be pretty cool to kind of do that and, I guess, get that out of your system, if you will. Because the L.A. Guns is a very distinct sort of sound. And, that's right. Um, it must have been pretty cool. It is. And, you know, that's that's the blessing of, of some of the projects I do um, outside of L.A. Guns that are important to me is that I get to focus on those those things, you know, those styles that, um, you know, you only really get a glimpse of in L.A. Guns, you know, but, to you know, write, you know, something like Diary of a Madman, you know, getting that opportunity. Like, I wouldn't do that with L.A. Guns, you know what I mean? Um, right. But with Sunbomb, it says go for it. You know what I mean? Go for all the Randy, all the Shanker, all the Yuli John Roth, like, you know, and that's my outlet. And so I'm really lucky to have that outlet. Fantastic. And, and uh, the last thing I'll, I'll, I'll say here, cause it's a sun bomb uh, uh, push here, but I saw some stuff where LA guns is going to go out and do yet another rip. You guys are going to go and go hard out of yeah. here fairly soon. Um, yeah. For my viewers that uh, are, interested in, on, in both projects i guess the sun bomb thing it came out two days ago la guns you guys are going to be back out when uh we our first show is uh i think you know what i'm gonna tell you right now see, see how uh how organized i am um our first show is hold on i have to look at my own website <laughs> well that's not okay, a bad yeah, thing it, man it, it's in it's in Joliet, Illinois, at the Fords, July twenty sixth. Right on, and and you guys go. I mean, I know I follow because I told you I know Sean. I know I follow you guys, and I know you guys. You know, you do it as old school as possible in yeah. terms of you know dates and, and, and dates close together and stuff like that. So, um, good luck with that. Thank you much so much Thank for doing you. this. I, the, the track that I heard was fantastic, my friend, and uh, right on, best of luck to you. Peace, peace out. <laughs>